Welcome back to another instructional video with John Sanders with Stretch at Home. Alright, so today we're going to be working on Evan's quads. Big old monster thighs here. So, as you can see, for what we have is the foreheads of the muscle of the quad. So you have one that goes in your here, one that lays underneath, the big belly one on top, and you have another one that runs on the outside also. So we're going to be hitting all of them. So the one I'm going to start with is, like I said, is the one that opened up the blood flow is that one. So we am starting off right here. What you want to do is find the person's hip bone to make sure you don't go over it. Start from right there. So first, we're going to be following this inside one. The important thing is to follow the muscles on how they go. One. So now we're going to get more of the bigger one right here. The white part right here is more the tendon part. You don't really want to stay over that. You want to stay over more of the red part, which is the belly of the muscle. But it is okay to go over the tendon, so you don't want to hang out there. So like I said, if the person's ticklish, you want to put your hand on their thigh. It'll kind of help, help with that. hip bone and all the way down. Now you want to do this about two times fully up and down. Once I went from inside to out then go outside to in. But just for speed reasons we're going to speed this up and I'm going to get right to the next part. And now that I've opened up his blood flow now I'm going to switch to the flatter one so I can get more of a bigger surface area as I go over his muscles. Now I really want to dig in there so actually I'm going to Go to the second speed right here, and then go over the exact same spots that I went over earlier. So I'm on the inside of the muscle right now, all the way down, find their knee, go right to the inside of that bone, and then back on up. The muscles are not always straight up and down. They cross over in all sorts of crazy ways. So having a suit like this really does help. So I can see exactly where his muscles are. Make sure I go over it properly, don't mess up. So now, same thing as before, after I went over this, now you can bend their leg, and now you're going to have them straighten their leg up. Just have your hand underneath, and go and straighten it up, and back down. This is just the quad that we're doing here. And now your arm that you have on their thigh, you don't want to rest it so you're not going to kill their other thigh. You know, unfortunately, you got to do, do a little work here and man, hold their leg up. Now, this is the tool I was just using, the regular flat one. You can go to this one. I'd actually recommend not doing it because not a lot of people have a lot of have a good amount of muscle <laughs> in their legs that you actually may end up hitting the femur nice uh, down below but also this one since it's so small it takes a little longer to go through each individual spot so this is the one I actually do not recommend for the quad since it takes so long the exact same thing you can get just from using this one right here and now we're going to focus around just the knee around the knee going to have you get the patellar tendon. So what you can do is still, once again, put your hand underneath, put it right, and this is a spongy one, make sure you put it right on the bottom of the patellar tendon, 
just rotate up right over the right over their kneecap, the patella. Straight up and down. Exactly how this white tendon part goes. Like I said, the patellar tendon. Just go over the white part. And you can even have them pull their foot up to right here and down. Just doing that little bit right there will tighten the patellar tendon and even across the knee just by just doing that little bit. Stay right over it. Let's go fully around the kneecap. And thank you for watching the video and thank you to Evan and Owen, my sons, for helping out. Please come back, check out more of my videos on how to work with the Hypervolt and in the future we'll be seeing other videos on how to manually stretch somebody and that is with Stretch at Home.